Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my Sleeping Giant Savory Borussia Mönchengladbach, fresh off the back of a impressive Polka Cup win. So this is the season review. Let's carry on straight away. So what we're going to do this video is going to be last season's review. It'll also show some of the transfers we make up until the start of the new season and potentially the first game or so of, of the new season to see how we're doing. Star player, no surprises there, Len. Rooney, I think he's been awesome. 14 appearances, 6 goals, 4 assists. So 10 goal involvements in 14 starts isn't bad. Paul Shaw brought him from Bayern. He's been a bit part player. He's one for the future. He could step up this season. We'll wait and see. He's 3 star current with 4 star potential. Was that a 4.5? Four, 4 star potential. So so he, he, he's got a good chance of making first team this year. Pavlovic, not bad, didn't quite make the seven. He did a job, but I, I, I wasn't overly impressed with him. The stats belie is how he performed at times. A lot of mistakes, a lot of giving up, giveaway balls. Lafont, we brought him in in a, in a bit of a panic after we'd sold our other keepers. He started off as first team keeper, dwindled down and, and finished off the season on the bench. 32 appearances, 6.95. And then Sergio Sergino Dest was the other signing. A lot of potential. This guy could be a good player for us. And yeah, he uh, 14 appearances. Again, mainly used used as sub a lot, but we've we've suffered a lot of injuries. So you know, he has um, had a bit of playing time for that. Transfers out quite busy on the out outs. We Ben Sibaini wanted to go. Itakuru, we were made an offer by Everton for nearly 10 million, which we couldn't refuse. He wasn't a, a great player for us. Benzabaini, I'd like to keep him, but I use the money to top up the bank account, I've got to be honest. Alvidi, he's out on loan. He'll be coming back in at some point. Um, or actually, no, we've sold him and he's gone out on loan. So that tells you everything about it, doesn't it? We sold him for 1.3 million. Uh, and he's gone out on loan with someone else. I seen the blue and thought we were loaning him out. Magno didn't want to lose him. He wanted to go to a better team. The club aren't going to be happy with this, no. But we were offered 50 million. Yeah. At a time when we didn't have a lot of money, we brought we brought uh, Rooney in, signing of the season as a replacement. So so we'd already sort of scouted all of that before this happened, because I knew we were going to struggle to hold on to him. Wolf. Was trying to get rid of him for a while. He's gone now. Um, player again. He, he he was top scorer for us in the first season, but he he wanted to go, so he's gone. And then a couple of freebies have left the club after their contracts went, or they were offered new contracts. Can't remember to be honest, but they're gone. Lots of players out on loan. This this potentially a couple of good players here, Frollo and Sanchez. They they potentially could be good players they just won't get any game time with us so they need to go out a couple of these I'm not really Dazbach I know he's going to be a good centre half eventually or I thought he was but looking at his development now he doesn't seem to be pushing on like we'd hoped for and that's it really Polinio's been a bit part player for us he needs to get out and, and learn a bit but I, I don't think he's going to make the grade either so we could see a few of these going when they come back this season season results then Finish where they'd expected them to at the start of the season. Um, that's not really true. They had a stoners finishing 7th or 8th, I think it was. Um, we had a horrendous start to the season, as you can see here. Just picking up a couple of wins here and there. I, I was actually down to a C- minus on the board, board support and worrying that I was going to go. But then we changed a tactic and rallied and uh, we've had a cracking end of season. Just can't seem to get one up. Well, I say we can't seem to get one over on Bayern. We did beat them in the Cup, so... That's the main thing there. Lost in the league, but beat them in the cup. Champions League. <sighs> we scraped through, let's be honest. We, we weren't decisive in the group stage. We scraped through the group stage. I think we had a lucky draw against PSV Eindhoven, who happened to be, as you can see from the results, they weren't a patch on us. And we, we almost did the unthinkable against Liverpool. 1-0 uh, up at home, winning. We were 1-0 up at Anfield and I was bouncing around the room and yeah, then Liverpool turned up and that was the end of that little dream. Polka, absolutely fantastic. Impeccable in the polka the old season. Um, right from the first to the last. And this is where we got one up on Bayer and we actually did manage to beat them at home 1-0. Possibly not deserved, but we got in the final and, and we totally strolled the final. Uh, it, we had a couple of goals disallowed, one at least disallowed and we were just 
just awesome and well deserving uh, first trophy for the club since 1995 so yeah we're, we're on the way to doing what this save's all about biggest win 9-1 that was in the polka first round match to remember 5-0 against Schalke this is after we changed the tactics I think we just played absolutely abysmally against a team down near the bottom of the table and sort of scraped a draw or even maybe lost I can't remember but then we went to Schalke who were like fourth or fifth in the league and we absolutely annihilated them so brilliant and yeah Bayer 4 goal of the season Rooney he's gonna be big he is gonna be big finances we've got to be doing all right okay club's reputation not changed I, I would imagine that's going to we've done better in Europe so we're going to be moving up the European rankings we've done better in the league so we're going to be moving up there as well so I would have thought we'd do all right sponsorship deals exactly the same all right no new sponsorship deals this year and I'm guessing we're on a five-year thing so that hasn't changed broadcast revenue went up by just over half a million Corporate and hospitality, that, that's gone up by nearly half a million. Competition prize money has absolutely jumped up by 40 million. Winning uh, polka and coming second in Bundesliga made a big, big difference there. And match day commercial revenue has gone up a little bit as well. Shirt sales, Burkhart, Liverpool sniffing around him. I'm hoping we can keep on to him. Rooney was a new signing, signing of the season. Danilo, up and Kone, all players that we've brought into the club. And yeah, they're, they're doing well. So... Lining up, the Fonting goal, yes and no. Um, him and um, Heidel have been fighting over that place all season. Posh, Pavlovic, Van der Ven, Nets. Van der Ven, towards the end of the season, has been sat on the bench. He wants to go. He's not performing. So Frederick's been dropping in there. Danilo, Kone, Vigo, that's pretty much as is. Uh, Tate, Magno, he went halfway through the season, which was unfortunate. And Burkhart up front, a 41-goal season for Burkhart, as you can see here. Other than that, Coney's chipped in with 12 goals but nobody else has really shot her but Magnolia had four I thought he had 13 when he left us maybe I was looking at the wrong thing but um, Tete's chipped in with four <coughs> excuse me four goals Vigo with four picked up a couple in the last couple of games which was good so hard work on off the pitch uh, such a feat didn't go unrewarded at our end of season awards ceremony player awards Burkhart, player of the season, I'm not surprised at that. Um, young player of the season, Burkhart. Signing of the season, Rooney. Goal of the season, Rooney, as you've seen. Burkhart's pretty much wiped the board, hasn't he? 41 goals in the season. Kone, he was also the German player of the year. Most assists, Kone with 15. Most player of the match awards, Burkhart with 12. He was possibly a reason we didn't do so well at the start of the season because he, he looked like he'd never seen a football before. Honestly, it looked like it turned into a rugby ball just as he struck it and it bounced off all over the shop. But um, he did get it back together and, and yeah, he came up trumps for us, didn't he? Highest average rate in Burkhart was 7.5. Most passes completed. Seller half doesn't mean absolutely anything. Tip tap, back and forth, back and forth. You know, this, this should only be forward passes, I believe, not sideways or back passes. And invariably, it's always a seller half that gets it. Most overall goals by a player in a season, Burkhart, 41. Most goals by a player in a match, 4 by Burkhart. Most assists, Kone. Most player of the match awards, Burkhart. So we have, you know, I was transfer free receive, 45 and a bit million. Not a bad season, okay. Hard work out, paid off the pitch. Feet, oh, so it's all the same up there. Beat Mains 2 0 in the final, absolutely brilliant. DFB Polka. And we did look class above in the first couple of months of the season. Well, we didn't, did we? We looked awful in the first half, so I'm not quite sure how they base this on. But we were awful first half of season and, and picked up sort of a quarter of the way through and, and went up from there. So maybe that's what they're on about. My timeline doesn't mean anything. We're not going anywhere from here. Um, yeah, we, we've got our first trophy in the cabinet, which is what this saves all about. So I'm going to go away now and play... Um, what am I going to play? I'm going to do the close season. Do a few transfers if need be. There's not a lot I need. Uh, looking at squad planner. I need a goalie. Okay. Uh, I know that. I, I, Lafont's coming good again against Idle. But I don't think either of them are really the answer. I could maybe do with picking up a left back. With Van der Ven potentially leaving the club. Could maybe look at strengthening right back. Vold and Posh. Posh has dropped in a bit. And Vold's not really 
doing anything. I think we're okay. I could even, if Van der Ven goes, I could even be looking at a centre half. I was hoping Torre was going to pick up a bit, but he hasn't. Midfield, we're looking pretty solid in midfield, I think, with Danilo, Kone and Nehouse. I think they've done quite well this season. Out wide areas, we're looking pretty solid. And we're looking good up front. So yeah, maybe a couple of players will come in, not too much. Finances, we'll just cover that quickly before I do move on. Raking the money in this season. Got a good transfer budget. We've got a chunk of wage budget left. Scouting budget, I'm gonna. I'm hoping that's going to change because I'm going to need to get that up because we need to be... Um, we need to be scouting the world. So, ah, that's going to be okay. So yeah, I'll be back in a moment. So we've just started pre-season. I thought I'd give a quick transfer update because there has been developments. We've lost Burkhart. He's, he did go to Liverpool. Liverpool were sounding him out all of last season. Uh, as soon as transfer window opened, they came in with an £84 million offer. I, I could not turn it down. So he's gone. Uh, look at the value of the boy now. Oh, if only. But anyway, uh, yeah, that might have been. So we've been busy as well. Okay, we've tried to strengthen. We've got a few um, free transfers come in. Brahim Diaz. Okay, he's uh, attacking midfield centre. He, he's got to supply more cover uh, across all three of those midfield. He's also going to be training as a striker. Okay, so in the hope that we, you know, it it lucky. Tommy Doyle. He came in on a freebie from Man City. He had a contract. Again, cover for the midfield. We've probably got too many midfield players, so my fans keep telling me. Frederick Jekyll, absolute bargain. 1.5 million cover across the back. Well, he's got to play defender centre. He's got to cover there, which releases them then to go to other positions if we're desperate. He should be able to do a job for us. I'm not sure he's ever going to be an amazing player, but he should be able to come in and hold his head up. This is our Burkhart replacement. On the he he was a bargain. Okay, we, we signed him from Basel in in Switzerland for ten ten and a quarter million. He had an okay goal scoring record, ish I guess. Twelve from fifty for a striker is not brilliant, is it? But when you look at his stats, and he is actually training as a stop. I'll check that in a minute. When you look at his stats for striker, he he, he should be a striker, and I'm sure that as soon as he came. I put him straight into training as an advance forward. So he's playing there now. See how it, how it goes. First game out, he scored four goals for us. Uh, and they were all good goals as well. He, he's, got a f he's got it all. So I, I'm hoping he's a, a straight replacement for Burkhart. We also signed Lukiba. Another centre half. He can also play left back. Another player that should be able to come in uh, and boost us up when when we're struggling for fitness and whatnot, and you know, and we should be able to maintain our levels. And our latest signing, probably the last one of this transfer window, Victor Roque, another striker. So so we've now got for the first time we've got solid cover up front um, with this guy. He plays out both wide positions and um, up front. So yeah, that's where we're at at the moment, guys. We've got a couple of transfers going out. I don't think I've got anyone else player-wise coming in. This is just a scout. Um, and going out. That's it. It's only it's only loans. So, so that's pretty much it. Torres, Mains want him. They're not offering anywhere near enough. So I'm going to reject that. That that's up here now. I expect. And Simon Vold, Borussia Dortmund's trying to tap him up. I, I don't want to lose him either. He, he's one for the future. So we've cancelled both of them. And that's pretty much it, guys. So we'll catch you up after pre-season. Thank you. Pre-season's over then. We're back now today for our FC Bayern Super Cup game. That's a, is that Bayern? Wouldn't that be nice? You see? <laughs> Can't see it somehow, to be honest. I'm not away at Bayern. As you can see, we've had a good pre-season. Doesn't really mean a lot, does it? Although there's some good teams in amongst this group. We've lost... Well, we've made another sale. I wouldn't say we lost, because we chose to sell him. So, Torre's gone. 3.4 million. Okay. I'm sure I mentioned it. We brought Vita Roque, another striker. That's out of the money for Burkhart, and I'm pretty sure I did mention it before. Um, so, yeah, not a lot else has happened. 
Van der Ven still wants to go, but nobody wants to pay the money for him. So he's still with us. Uh, who else wants to go? Nyhaas feels it's time to move on for a new challenge. Okay. Mickey van der Ven, I just said. Kone wants to go. Arsenal's been chasing him up, which is a bit of a worry. So I've had to agree a figure if they come back and match. And I was playing Scheidel up on the left wing, but he's decided that he's not happy that he's not playing on the left wing. But I checked my tactics and I can assure him, although he's out injured or was out injured, that is... Ah, because this player missing. Sorry, guys. That threw me a bit there. I've just come home off a night shift, so I'm a little bit um, off the pace. So Shotlap's going to play left wing. And there you go. Straight away, he's changed to wing. And Diaz can play right. So that's that. I'm just going to check everybody. I haven't checked the... Uh, had a chance to check many at the minute, so... Just want to make sure I've got my main guys in here, which I have. And yeah, we're down to finish second this season. Whether we will or not, I don't know. I've, uh, I'm struggling financially to match the big clubs, and I'm determined, although you will look and think he's got money, I'm not going to bankrupt the club. The idea is we can get through this season, get a bigger transfer budget, get better players. That's the plan. So everybody's expecting me to lose to Bayern today. Oh, who's that now? What's up with him injured again? Already? And the injuries are coming already, guys. And that's three to four weeks. Which is a little bit of a worry. Again, so early in the season, we've got Thurum out, we've got Van der Ven out. And now we've got Lucky. I, I don't know what it is, but... Something's not right here to constantly be getting injuries. It's just... It would be so bad if it was everybody, but it seems to be just us. So, a little bit concerning, but we'll see what happens um, as we go. So, yeah, we're playing Bayern today. Super Cup. It was a nice surprise, actually. I wasn't expecting it, and then out the blue up it come. So, we did beat them to win the polka we knocked them out in the semi-final so it would be nice to um so i'll come back and do the scouting when you're not about it would be nice to come away with a victory today and we have said we're going to challenge them this season which i'd like to do i don't think there's any changes i want to make there i'm struggling to get a goalie every goalie that comes in is no better than what i've got but costs more money well it's going to cost me money to bring them in and they're not as valued as the ones we've got and when I compare them they're not as good overall as the ones I've got so I've stuck with them and I'm missing a oh, I see sir that's, that's all right. I don't normally have a goalie as a sub but for some reason today I have so one change I've decided I am going to make is Dest is going to play more this season he's had a cracking um, tournament away with Whoever it is, he plays for Canada, is it, or America? America, yeah, so he's had a crack in uh, 53 caps, for goals, so we're going to give him a go today. No changes to make, and tactics are the same as last season. The only difference is I've sort of pushed the forwards back out rather than having two up front. That, would div that will move about over the course of the season if need be. But yeah, this is a good test right at the start of the season. Let's see how we get on against Bayern. Uh, are we anywhere near them? Bayern have been buying players, but I've been watching what they're doing, and I wouldn't buy the players they're buying. They're not as good as what they've got. I looked at their goalie, and he's not as good as our goalie at the minute, unless so they've changed. Put oh, and here we go, another injury already. My new striker. Something's not right at the club, guys. I don't know what it is, but something is costing me big time. And this is a groin injury already. And this guy's been fantastic through close season, and he was meant to step in and... Ah, oh, they've got Nair back in. So they, it was the reserve keeper I was looking at. I thought he was in their team for a friendly, and I thought Nair had retired because he's getting on now. 
but yeah it's a bit one-way traffic at the moment isn't it I'm gonna give a bit of encouragement because we need to be doing better than this we haven't shown up today which is a worry but I still can't believe we're already picking up so many injuries it's there's something not right somewhere I'm not happy with the performance so why would you say that I am Like I said, always check before you um, do what the assistant manager asks you to because it does cause problems. And yeah, we need to um, step up a little bit here. I was hoping to do a cup double and start the season with a win, but this isn't looking great. We just haven't shown up, have we? We're playing like we did at the start of last season. Again, a worry. I was hoping we were going to be giving these a run for their money this season, but on the strength, that was easy, wasn't it? That was just so easy. Right, so we're going to demand more. And I'm going to make some changes, guys, because these players just ain't turning up. 6.4, 6.5. not, not on, I'm afraid. So, and if I need to change things about, and Danilo, I am surprised. And another injury to Dest. And even my centre halves are playing like. And that's it, I've made all my changes. Even my centre halves are playing like they've never seen a football before. This is a big worry. I hope we're not going to have another season like we've had the two previous. Because I'm, I honestly thought we'd come in with a good team here and we were in with a shout. We're going to have to go attack him. We're going to have to try and do something against them. I know they're not rolling us over, which is better than it's been in the past. But this is a trophy I wanted to win, and suddenly we're not. I'm gutted. First game of the season, and I'm gutted already. And yeah, we've given that away. I don't even want to watch that. We've given that away with a whimper. Very, very um, disappointed. Absolutely gifted them that. The, the only good thing is it was 1-0 and not 4-5-0. or five nil, But, oh dear, guys. So yeah, we've covered everything. There's no transfers. There's no plans for any more transfers yet. We may, we've got money, so we may bring something in if we need to. On the showing I've just seen, I'm a little bit concerned. Maybe I shouldn't have come off a night shift and played a game like this. I have to go away and uh, scratch ahead a bit and come back with some plans. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave us a like and a subscription. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.